Chen Xi is moving towards new and green development in energy sector, pressing the fast forward button for the construction and development of new energy systems. Ice and snow tourism and sports in Shanxi continue to heat up, and the ice and snow consumption market is booming. The Yungang Grottoes have shown new vitality with its rich historical atmosphere and profound cultural accumulation. Hello and welcome to Exploring Shanxi. I'm Qiao Meng. This year, Shanxi's energy sector is moving towards new and green development, vigorously promoting the energy revolution, accelerating the development of new and clean energy, and pressing the fast forward bottom for the construction and development of new energy systems in Jingzhong, Shuzhou, and other places. Recently, Shanxi Jingchun Ride Hailing Company has just purchased 100 methanol electric hybrid cars, which is also the largest delivery of cars of this type in Jingzhong City. We will provide a complete service chain for the filling, maintenance, and insurance of methanol cars. The confidence of the enterprises comes from the continuous improvement of the new energy industry system since 2023. Yuzhi District of Jingzhong City has signed contracts for a total of 175 methanol electric hybrid passenger cars, built and operated three methanol refilling stations, and established three methanol vehicle after sales outlets. We have been continuously improving the application scenarios of methanol ride hailing services and maximizing the demonstration effect. In Shuzhou City, the first flagship station for new energy heavy-duty truck battery swapping has been built. It can complete entire automatic battery swapping process after the new energy heavy-duty truck enters the battery swapping position. We use our devices to scan and locate the battery position during the process. It takes five minutes for the entire battery replacement. To promote the construction of new energy vehicle charging infrastructure, Shuzhou City plans to basically form a moderately advanced, balanced layout, smart, and efficient charging or swapping infrastructure system by the end of 2025. In Taiyuan City, traditional energy and new energy are continuously optimized and combined. In Datong City, clean energy sources such as wind energy, solar energy, and geothermal energy are accelerating their development. Shanxi has been actively taking action and continuing to make efforts to accelerate the construction of new energy systems. It's the perfect time to appreciate the breathtaking ice and snow sceneries, experience ice and snow culture, and participate in ice and snow sports. Recently, ice and snow tourism and sports in Shanxi have continued to heat up, and the ice and snow consumption market in the province is bustling again. Here is Taiyuan Shi Cai Wei Zhuang Yuan Hua Xue Chang. In my behind, you can see many avid hiker and snowboarders from the sides of the mountain coming down to enjoy the speed of the ice and snow and the speed of the snowboarders. Currently, it's the ice and snow tourism season, and the cold ski resorts have become popular. Everyone can enjoy skiing. I hired a coach to teach me how to ski, and there's a lot of fun. With the promotion of ice and snow sports, more and more people are learning and understanding skiing. The ski resorts here have six tracks, including beginner, intermediate, and advanced, as well as parent-child snow areas and snow folk custom parks, which can better meet the needs of different ski enthusiasts. 这里是晋城，我现在是在城区镇卧龙湾滑雪场。不少游客选择在这个冬日来到这里，感受冰雪运动的魅力。This is my first time to ski here, and it is also a brand new experience for me. To seize the peak season of winter sports tourism, the ski resort has upgraded facilities such as ski slopes, snow clothing, and lighting to enhance the tourist experience. At the Guangwu International Ski Resort in Shanying County, Shuzhou City, a large number of ice and snow enthusiasts experience the fun of ice and snow racing here. 
The ski resort links the nearby Great Wall Number、no. One tourist highway and historical sites such as the Ming Great Wall, launching multiple new tourism routes to attract more tourists to experience the charm of ice and snow. Yungan Grottoes in Shanxi, Mogao Grottoes in Dunhuang, and Longmen Grottoes in Luoyang are known as the three most famous Buddhist grottoes sites in China. The Yungan Grottoes, located in Datong City, Shanxi Province, is a magnificent grotto dug against the mountain stretching one kilometer from east to west. The majestic historical site has shown new vitality with its rich historical atmosphere and profound cultural accumulation. Yungan Grottoes is a monument of the Yungan Empire, a historical monument of the Yungan Empire. I'm Yungan Grottoes researcher Lu Jiwen. 石窟的保护，按照不同的历史阶段有序推进，科学保护它的病害。我们认为主要有三大种：第一就是危岩体的病害，它引起洞窟的开裂，甚至是崩塌；伴随着的同时呢，有这个水的危害，引起风化的病害。所以这三种病害是同时具备，我们要按不同的阶段分批的进行治理。这个完整的治理，我们把它叫做防风化的治理。为了很好的保护这个滑洞呢，我们进行了一个综合性的工程。呃，首先是对整个石窟呢外立面的壁面进行了微岩体、微岩块的治理。在这完成以后呢，再进行洞窟内的塑像、壁画的修复。完成了之后，我们才开始做这个环境的监测。最后呢，我们才来完成窟前的这三种建筑。从最初的三年呢，风化的速率降低百分之七十，到现在呢，这个风化的速率基本稳定。这是我们比较觉得有收获的。我们这几年呢，跟这个高校的合作，比方说我们和这个上海大学呀、复旦大学呀，保护的材料和工艺进行了一个合作。比方数字化，我们跟浙江大学、武汉大学有不同深度的合作，借人家的智，为我们做石窟的保护，提供新的理念、技术、方法或者手段。二零一七年，我们第一次用三 D 打印的技术方法打印出来我们永港石窟的第三窟，在青岛的这个城市传媒广场进行永久性的展览。二零一八年呢，我们已经在这个北京建工大学。完成了云冈石窟第十八号窟的洞窟的这个 3D 打印，可以放在室外进行展览。那么，二零一九年呢，我们又在浙江大学开发出来云冈石窟第十二窟的复制，这个呢就完全实现了室外展览、可移动、可摘装的穷游式的展览洞窟。作为文物的保护者，我们的责任和义务就是让石窟艺术能够持久的传承、传播。让子孙后代看到我们文明的成果。And that's all for today's Explore Shanxi. Before we go, don't forget to scan the QR code below to watch previous videos of our program.